in the recycle. Paper, glass, and aluminum. In our area, recycle and very old history because we are from South. And uh, France is uh, very bad with so many some trash time because we can use even every ten percent. Okay, uh, I think that we all uh, agree that uh, this is something that is uh, that is very, that has become very popular. But are we really doing it uh, only on paper, like printing uh, the twenty thirty agenda? Or uh, we will really, uh, really do that and achieve these uh, goals. Uh, to my, I know it's maybe not popular because the UK left the European Union. But uh, how uh, uh, do you adhere to the same principles? Do you do the, the same when it comes to uh, recycle, reuse, like similar? Do you have similar goals like in Italy for that? In the UK. In the UK. Yeah. Yeah. We do. We. We have been here, but we're still following the same rules. But do you, what do you think? Is it only the, the uh, goal written on the piece of paper, or uh, do we adhere to them to do that? I mean, without upsetting any people, I think what we're talking about is the difference between the action that you can take from a governmental perspective and the action that can be taken when you are a private business owner. Someone as, like myself as a private business owner, I think we have the responsibility and the freedom sometimes to do more than government can do. And because of that privilege, we have an opportunity to create services or in this case to create tourism products that can do something that is of value and of benefit to, to the guests, to the local people, to the environment. And I can give you an example. Uh, Barbados, the island of Barbados in the Caribbean has a very well established tourism brand. But in all honesty, when you take a closer look, a lot of the tourism is run by resorts and multinational companies, and the actual benefits uh, that go towards the local people are very minimal, and of course there is a lot of waste that comes from this particular type of commercialized tourism activity. And so if we're looking at uh, experiences and activities and things that people want to do when they're on holiday, they want to enjoy themselves. Experiences are not the end, they are the means. And this is the intention with which we have to approach tourism, which is that we need to utilize experiences as a way, as a door to create connections between the traveler and the local person. So in Barbados, for example, when we were researching for how to organize a halal Muslim friendly tour group there, because it's not exactly the first destination where you think, oh, that's going to be halal and Muslim friendly. It doesn't have that brand, it's the brand of, of, of parties and nightlife and this kind of thing. And we found a wonderful project run by a local person of trying to regenerate the rainforest. Because unfortunately, in Barbados, local people pay a lot for their groceries because of importation. And so they don't have locally grown produce, pretty much at all. And what he's doing is trying to reintroduce locally grown produce. And one of the ways that we were able to support this particular project is by bringing tourists to come to have a hike through the rainforest to learn and understand and appreciate the effort and the work that goes into this project through their visit, of course, the ticket that they pay goes towards supporting this project. And through this type of, you can say like a circular economy type of framework, we created a really transformative experience for the guests because when I asked them at the end, what did you enjoy the most? You went on a glass bottom boat, you went on the Caribbean Sea, you saw the white sand, you saw Rihanna's house, you drove, you know, they had all of these experiences that they could boast about to their friends. But the thing that stuck with them the most was this trek through the rainforest where they felt like they had done something meaningful, they have made a small contribution that is going to be helpful. And this is really what the essence of tourism and creating experiences should be about, as a gateway to build connection and to do something that is mutually beneficial for all of the parties involved.